Yesterday afternoon, this street was covered in ankle deep water. It was a sight that comes as no surprise to locals. We have an old infrastructure and it happens. The frequent water main breaks, including yesterday's 20 inch break, is an issue that Mayor Larry McLean has been trying to combat since he's been in it office. But he wants residents to realize that this is no quick, easy fix or cheap one, to say the least. If we spent 10 million, we could be in a lot better shape. Um, to, to replace the water lines, probably 30 to 40 million. And that's just a, it's an overwhelming number. Last year, McLean says they spent $1.5 million to replace one and a half miles worth of water lines. The city of Big Spring has 179 miles of roads with a water line on each one. But McLean says he's doing his best to work with what he has available to him. With the city working on next year's budget, McLean says he's planning on giving a proposal to spend $1.5 million a year to replace older water lines. I mean, we, we're still going to have old pipes out there, but at least, I think, 10 million, we could address the worst of the worst. Some residents are frustrated and tired of dealing with water main breaks and have solutions of their own. It's a lot of water being wasted, and I truly believe that we get this going where the city can get some kind of grants and repair the main lines. It will avoid all of this hassle and save us a lot of money. And then there are residents who understand the bigger issue at hand. I tell you what, these city guys that work these main breaks are the hardest working dudes that you will ever see. These guys are dedicated. They were out here all night long. You cannot fault the city of Big Spring for this. These are old pipes. They're going to break. 